Hi guys, it's Circle M. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today we're going to talk a little bit about shooting for acceptable speed and acceptable accuracy. So if we notice on this target here, I have a 3x5 index card on a reduced size silhouette. If I'm only trying to hit the index card or only trying to hit the headshot, I have a certain speed that I can pull this trigger at and effectively get good hits. Obviously I'm exaggerating my movement slightly, but I can pull this trigger pretty quickly and as long as the dot does not leave that index card, that would be an acceptable hit because that's what I'm trying to hit at and I'm allowed to make a, a hit inside of and still get my points or whatever it is that I'm going for. Similarly with the headshot, which is a little bit smaller, I have to pull that trigger a little bit more slowly. If we compare that to getting a hit in the total body, I can pull this trigger as fast as I want. As long as the dot does not leave the body, I'm still getting an acceptable hit. So there is a point at which acceptable accuracy and acceptable speed matters versus putting every single round through the same hole for a more practical application. Here with a slightly different gun, we notice that due to the longer trigger pull, I have to maintain a more careful control because there is greater opportunity for my finger to cause an unintentional movement in the gun when I'm firing. Same thing for the headshot. But if I'm allowed to get a hit anywhere in the body, all of that movement is still okay because it's a hit anywhere, not the specific hit within that A zone or a headshot only.